Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray here. And I just want to talk to you about the most important thing that you can do as an experienced Logic Pro Power user. Now, not all of you are seasoned veterans. And so if you're a beginner, this is still going to be very useful. Let me tell you why. We're going to be planting a seed. And we're going to be setting you up for success. And so to have these conversations is very important because your bandwidth will increase over time. Believe me, it happens to me all the time. My mentor is the greatest Logic Pro mine in the world and to speak to him sometimes hurts my brain. And so I want to talk to you about a protocol that is a surefire way of making sure that you save an insane amount of time. I just want to make sure that all your bases are covered so that when you're working on music in the back of your head, you're, you're chill, you're relaxed, and you can just work on what it is that you need to work on. And so here is my Logic Pro template. It's pretty extensive. I wouldn't say it's over the top. I try and use everything. I don't always use everything, but I just want to make sure that everything is accounted for. And so when you set these things up, there's a lot that goes into it. There's, it's, an, it's a big investment. Uh, for example, your, your control bar on display, how you view the program is all set up. If you look at the track header here on the left hand side, all of this is set up to your liking. These are decisions that you've made over the course of days, months, and years. And we want to make sure that that is not in vain. We want to make sure that all of your efforts are not in vain. And so what we're going to do is we're going to save all of these preference files. Um, also, if you're into parameter mapping, if you watch the channel, you probably are because I have a ton of videos and extended training on it. We want to make sure that we save the control surface file. Uh, for example, last week I was working and my automation stopped working. And so I made a video about it and there's a whole thing on it. You can check that out. But you want to make sure that you can go back in time, grab the file and replace the corrupted file if that ever happens to you. And then you're good to go. So look, I, I like using Carbon Copy Cleaner. I use it all the time. I think it's a great program. But I've also started using Time Machine because you can go back in time. Now, I'm not going to pull up Time Machine right now because it could potentially mess up everything I'm doing here. But let's say your preference file um, goes awry. You can delete it or at least move it out onto your desktop. And then you can go grab the original, the one that you created yesterday or, or you backed up the day before that. You can you know bring that, restore it into the present, and then you're good to go. So that's what I'm looking for. Carbon Copy Cleaner is great for all the daily needs of updates and things of that nature. Uh, you can see I'm backing up video files here, but uh, we, we need another way. And so I highly recommend you grab these files and you back them up into other places. I have it backed up to an external drive. Um, and so if we look here on the right hand side, I have a Logic Pro P list, C list, key commands and templates file. And so we're going to open that and hit command down arrow key. And these are the files that I need you to start backing up. Now, you can have a digital copy somewhere, but I suggest you have a physical copy as well, just for instant access. So the com.apple.logic.pro.cs file is for control surfaces. And then the plist file is for all of the settings, what used to be called the preferences. Super important to save these two. And if you want to know where these are, you can check out my other video, where are my Logic Pro files, and that'll get you there along with the extended training. Logic Pro Power User um, Logic CS file is basically the key commands. So if I hit Option K, I can save as key commands, and that will ascertain that no matter if you go to another studio or you buy a new computer that you can go ahead and continue working the way that you like to work everybody has a unique workflow and so i respect that so on top of that please save your project templates as well like if i go back to this file and i go to file save as template you can see i have a lot of files here i don't want all of this to be wasted because something goes wrong and so if i wanted to update what i call my auto load I'm going to click one time on the title itself. And then now this has been titled properly and it's just going to replace it. I don't need to replace it. So I'm going to hit cancel, but that would be the protocol there. So you go into the project templates. Uh, let me see if I can get you that. 
this one here. And so if we look at the file path, it is your computer, user path, your name, music, audio, music apps. And this is where you can find the key command file. Again, a probably a, a simpler way of doing this is just to go into logic and then just go into that save as protocol uh, within the key command window. So back up everything, have a physical copy, perhaps a digital copy. Start using programs like Carbon Copy Cleaner that'll help you save uh, files on a day-to-day -day basis. Create a physical copy of your P list, C list, key commands, and templates, and start using Time Machine. That way you're covered all around 360, everywhere you go, um, you can make sure that you could rectify any problem. So if you found this video to be of any use to you, give it a thumbs up, go ahead and share. It took me about five times to film this. I don't know what's going on with my system, but uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of the support. We are giving away a free plugin. All you gotta do is comment and say 4K within the comments section. Thank you so much. Stay up, more content coming soon.